Good morning, good morning. Sorry team, I'm just in a good mood because I got lucky last night after my hot date. Oh no, wait. Schedule Wednesday 15th at not at 12 a.m. I've made that mistake before. 7.15 p.m. You guys seem to be liking that lately. Boom. Meanwhile, I look like a tomato, but I, I look like I've got white patches, like white eyes. I don't know. <sighs> look at my face. <laughs> look at my fucking face. I think this might be how it ends. I feel fine, I just look like a cat. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. To start off today's video, we are going to be answering one of your most frequently asked questions around this point in time, right? Obviously, I am very fortunate to still have the home gym, to still be able to train and stick to my goals as much as I possibly can, right? However, one thing I keep getting asked is, I have a barbell, Liam, I just have some dumbbells, what can I do? especially for legs. People just seem to become unstuck when it comes to legs. They can't think of the variations and all that kind of stuff. If they have dumbbells, they can quite happily use their freaking desk chair and do some bicep curls and some seated shoulder press. People don't tend to struggle with upper body. However, when it comes to minimal equipment, people seem to struggle when it comes to legs. Myself included, I've been in that boat before, right? So, what I'm going to do is answer one of your most frequently asked questions and use just the barbell and two plates, two 10 kilo plates, because you don't need massive weights, and still have a sick session. So it's gonna be a good video. Drop it a like if you're excited, people. Comment down below if this was something that you're interested in. I could do full body, something like that, I don't know. C comment anything down below that I can do to help you in this time. Because I am here to help you. You scratch my back and like the video, and I'll scratch yours and make whatever the hell you wanna see. I'll, I'll do anything, just like the video, please. Okay, let's go. We're gonna keep this short and sweet, people. We're starting off with a bit of a front squat. Now, not everybody's gonna have a rack at home, okay? So if you have a barbell or some dumbbells, all you can do is deadlift it up and put it onto your chest like so. Alternatively, if you just have dumbbells, you can do a very similar, if not the same thing, curl them up like so, feet shoulder width apart, boom. And even if you really want to get to the top, you can add a little bit of a, that's really difficult to do from the bottom. You can add a little bit of a press in there as well, okay? So you can jump up, press and back down again, like so. Don't overcomplicate it, people. This can be simple, this can be easy and effective. Give it a go, don't knock it until you try it. Then lift up, flip it, feet shoulder width apart, down, two, three, four. Pause, and again. Down, two, three, four, pause, and again. Next up, use the same barbell, coming down, stiff-legged deadlifts, down, two, three, four, pause, and again, down, two, three, four, pause, oh my god, Liam, I'm way too massive, I've not got enough weight, well, if you have a resistance band, stand on the resistance band, hold that too, use the barbell and the weight, or the dumbbells and the resistance bands, all in one go, boom, you've got more weight. I know, I know, I know it's not ideal, people. But you gotta make the best of what you got. Think of every single teeny little thing. If you're doing a squat and you've only got a certain amount of weight, put some heavy books in a backpack and strap that to your back as well as holding the dumbbell. That is extra weight that you're going to be pushing. I know, again, it's not like slapping 100, 200, 300 kilos on, but it is as good as you're gonna get. So that's what you gotta do. Keep your rest time down as well. Oh. Next up, okay, dead simple. 
Now I have a weights bench here, which I'm gonna use to step up on, but if you don't have that, you could use your sofa, you could use your friggin' desk chair, you could use a dining room chair, anything, a park bench, I don't know, anything that you have available to you that is sturdy, that's not gonna wobble or anything when you stand on it, use that. Same two plates, alternatively, you could hold a dumbbell, you could have the barbell on your back, anything that you have, friggin' hell, load up a backpack and stick it on your back, and that will do the job, okay? One leg up, boom, and back down again. One leg up, boom, and back down again. Alternate legs, 10 on each. The stabilization of bringing your knees up after every step is actually really quite hard. And so you'll find you get a surprising amount of core work in here as well. Now I know there's people out there saying, oh my God, Liam, that's far too easy. Okay, if it's far too easy, same applies with anything of these, any of these leg exercises. Stick the weights above your head and boom, bosh. All of a sudden, it's a hell of a lot harder. Think about it, simplify things. I guarantee you, if you do 200 lunges, your bum will ache the next day. Your hammies and your quads, your entire legs will ache the next day. Give some of these things a try. Let me know if you do. I hope this helps. And we've got a package here, so on with the day. Come on, Jess. Come on. We've got a package. Come here. That's what this is. One. And two. Sick. What do you think then, Jess, huh? What do you think? Can you get a good session with just a barbell? What do you reckon? I think she means yes, and I think she means I would like the video, Liam. I would do it 10 times. I would make nine separate accounts and on my legitimate one, just so that I could drop a like for you. That's what she actually just said to me. I speak Jessie Pup. Why have I come back in here? I'm done. Fourth anniversary <laughs> FaceTime dinner date ready with a Lodo pizza, cider chicken. We got some ketchup in the house too. Let's go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. oh, that was lovely, wasn't it, babe? Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Can I, uh, can I, can you get the bill, please, mate? Can you get the bill? Will you pay it? Uh, no, I've got this one. I've got this one. It's, it's our anniversary. I'll pay. Thank you. It's, it's okay. It's okay. That's so generous. Yeah, hey, mate. Keep, keep the change, mate. Don't usually get a girl into bed this quickly after a date. <laughs> well. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Sorry team, I'm just in a good mood because I got lucky last night after my hot date. Oh no, wait. This morning, I'm sending off a couple more t-shirts. Uh, I'm going to run around the corner to the post office because to save, uh, not to the post office, to the post box, I have actually figured out a way in amongst all of this madness to actually send off t-shirts kind of one by one rather than waiting for them to bulk up. So I've just been going to the um, uh, post box around the corner. And so long story short, that basically just allows me to kind of get the packages out to you um, a lot quicker. Thank you so much for the support on these guys. Um, a lot of the sizes have actually sold out and if there are some left, um, I think there's a couple left in the smalls for each size, but then we're pretty much like down to the last one in, in other sizes that are in stock. So if you go on the site, the code 500 will still stand, the 500 video celebration, and you can go on and save yourself a couple of quid there. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you really for the support because it being like, uncertain times now with, with, with work and everything. Um, the fact that you guys are, are still kind of got on board with this 
um, that that means a lot. So thank you. Um, I expect the teas to sell out over the next couple of days or so, maybe two or three days. So if you want one and it's still in stock, go and get on it now. Obviously with the whole current situation, I don't know when the next restock will be. So if you want one, try and get one now. Also on the note of packages, uh, we received this one from Hi Smile the other day. I've been waiting to open it on uh, camera, but uh, do I qualify as an influencer yet? Because you know, being sent this is kind of like influencer tick box, you know? I hate the word influencer, just to, just to clarify. Man, this tape is like trying to get into freaking Fort Knox. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, check, check that. <laughs> Hang on, they told me to do a before photo. So in the box, you will get two things. As far as I know, it's like a gum fuel kind of thing and a gel, and that's about it. But if there's some instructions, that would be great because I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm doing with this. It's pretty cool because, you know, in this game, in this social media game, a pearly white smile is key. So uh, hopefully this will help me out a little bit. Here we go. Open cover to remove plastic tag from LED light back. Attached mouth lid lid. What? Oh! Oh god, it smells like dentist. So apparently it's actually better if you do it at night time because then y your teeth get a rest from, f from food. I'm literally about to go for this walk now and then have my porridge oats. So that's not gonna happen. We can see it in a future video, but drop the like if you're excited to see me get pearly whites. Cheers, Hi Smile. I'm actually really excited to try it. I've wanted to try it for freaking years. Oh, yeah. Okay, go on then. I'll, I'll meet you out there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. That's, that's the plan anyway. Good girl. Nice and gentle. Good girl. Come on then. Wait. Wait. Go, go, go. <laughs> so, I was actually going to film this next clip um, outside, however, um, everybody is actually at home right now um, and so everyone is working from home, doing things from home like jobs, doing the patio, they're bloody cutting the lawn. A long story short, it's just really busy outside uh, and so I've had to come inside to film a clip about appreciating the outside. So excuse the irony here but just hear me out and listen to kind of what I've got to say because it, I feel like this kind of makes sense. I feel like there's going to be someone watching this right now that needs to hear it because I needed to hear it and I kind of just told myself and actually Charlotte telling me to to, to do it as well. Um, and, and that is to quite literally still go outside. If you have a garden, if you have a balcony, if you have a, a path nearby you know some of us live in apartments or whatever i've been there i've lived in flats where you don't have a garden or anything like that but there's still areas nearby where i could go for a walk i could use that hour hour of exercise that we're allowed you know um use it because i i hadn't been and for, uh, for the two and a half three or it's been more like three and a half four weeks now hasn't it that we've all kind of been inside i have been out three times and that that you just saw was one of them. And that is a total of like one, less than once a week. Um, once to post the t-shirts, second to post a second round of t-shirts. And actually, you know what? The only reason I've left the house for the last month is to post t-shirts. And that is just stupid. I know that it's like essential journeys and all this kind of stuff, but keeping yourself cooped up inside is not good. It is just not good. Um, the thing is, my kind of mindset towards the whole thing, the whole situation was the sooner that I stay in and do absolutely nothing, don't cause any harm, get in anyone's way or do anything, the sooner I will be able to go back to normal and be with Charlotte and all this kind of stuff. And I kind of, it's almost like I took that to a bit of an extreme, um, literally just staying inside you know obviously i film in my video i'm not i'm not going crazy don't get me wrong like i i'm fine because i'm making these videos i still have the gym i, I appreciate everything that i have I, i'm speaking to my mate sam about this the other day i was like look we can't, we can't really complain can we but i was almost being a bit too extreme with the with the measures you know it's not a 
please do not leave your house, not here in, in, in England anyway. It's not a, you cannot leave your house. It's you can go to the supermarket and you can do essential things if your job requires that and stuff. Um, but I didn't class what I was doing as that, so I just didn't do anything. I was almost ignoring the fact that we can still go out. Like I could take Jesse down the park or go for a run or just get out of the house and actually soak up the fresh air, or in this case, the new f smell of the nice new gym mats. But I, I, di I didn't do that. I didn't do that at all for the last month. And what you guys need to do is precisely that, if you are able to. Obviously, the restrictions are different everywhere in the country. Abide by what your government says and all this kind of stuff. But if you live in England, take that time because it will keep you sane, you know, and it will keep you active. It will keep you healthy. Obviously, I can still do my sessions and I was kind of classing that as my hourly workout when actually because it's in my home, I don't have to go anywhere to do that. So that doesn't count as my hour, if you like. Um, and so I can kind of go out and take Jesse for a walk and just be just be out, just be doing something, you know, um, and, and I, I ignored that for far too long. So I think at least kind of every other day I'm going to try and get up and about and just go and walk around the block and stuff because, like I say, I, I'm not going stir crazy or anything because I, I'm busy making these videos. However, I, I do feel like if someone else was in my position, I would be telling them to be going out as well. So why am I not doing the same thing, if that makes any sense? That makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But I say a lot in this in this life, you can only play the cards you are dealt. And um, right now, a lot of us have been dealt a shit hand that we don't like and we don't, we aren't going to win with. You know, we, we've got a crap hand. This is a poker metaphor, bear with me. <laughs> so if, if we can kind of bluff our way to the win in the meantime, if we can pretend that it's a good hand, and fool the others, in other words, go outside and make the most of the shit hand, then it won't be quite so bad. It'll be a little bit more bearable, you know? Um, and I think FaceTime dates and FaceTiming and Zooming, people are using Zoom, and if you still want to use House Party, use that. I deleted it because of the whole data protection thing, but if you want to use it, then, then use it. <laughs> Um, just do something to keep in contact with those that you love. Um, myself and Charlotte FaceTime every single night, multiple times throughout the day, just like we would. Um, usually we FaceTime quite a lot anyway because we used to live together, but we don't live together anymore. So it's just kind of like a, a replacement for that until we can live together again. Um, but I encourage you to, to, to do that because it's... It, it's not going to be forever, it's a temporary phase. But that doesn't make the temporary phase an easy phase to go through. Phases are just phases, they will come and they will go. This one will go and we will come out of it stronger together. Find something that you can work on in the meantime. I'm really working hard on this social media game at the minute. Well, I always have been for the last bloody four years, but you know what I mean? In particular right now, I'm doing as much as I possibly can that can benefit me once this is all done and we can go back to normal, I would love to get you guys involved with um, the best gym series, like training with subscribers and all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> that's 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 that. I just want I don't, I don't know. I had a a, a moment of a, bit of a bit of an epiphany um, when I was speaking to Charlotte last night and all this kind of stuff. And yeah, I, I just wanted to to put that out there because I know that someone watching this is going to have want to, to have heard that. You, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm just chatting shit, aren't I? But that's that, guys. Do your thing. Stay happy. Stay positive. Please keep on getting involved with the Lateral Raise competition. I uploaded it yesterday, and entries are already flying in. So make them creative. Make it fun. Make it imaginative. And um, just don't injure yourself. But have fun with it, you know? That's what this whole challenge thing is about. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you took something from it. If you have, please drop it a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Let's smash 60. If it's not above 60, drop it a like so it's above 60. If it's above 60, drop it a like so we get 9,000. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. 
together we will grow the momentum is building people and i will see you in the next one okay yeah maybe i am going crazy